clearly Neve is trying to get murdered. He just followed people in without a care in the world. Look, if you invite me in your house, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna look for snacks uh, and I'm probably use the bathroom. And hopefully not get murdered. I'd never let a mucinex germ talk to me like that. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure who this person's referring to as a mucinex germ. I, mean, I have a few ideas. You have to stand up for yourself. But at the same time, even germs have feelings and have been through things. Maybe they started off uh, as a white blood cell and somehow ended up as a germ. I don't know. She's obviously hiding pickles under her tongue. I've never heard that phrase. I'm not sure what it means. I'm gonna take a guess, a little sour with someone. Maybe that, that's what that means. Wait, this comment has 10,000 likes? Elijah looks like the brother went downstairs and put on a wig and piercings. It's true, Elijah's hair really did look like a wig. That was so weird that he went down there. And then it turns out they have like a, they have a hair sort of like chair and mirror and like a little salon set up down there because Elijah's hair is such an important thing in his life that like his family helps him with it. Anyway, I agree. I love this co-host. She don't play any games. Well, that's why I hired her. She can't replace Max, but she brings a lot of Maxiness to the job. Cammy. Well, bok bok, bitch. I'm dead. LMAO. You know, I didn't even know what a bird was. So I didn't understand why Cammy was so upset that she called her that. I was like, what's the big deal? But now I know. Some of the weave on this show is the biggest crime of all. I am not a hair extension expert by any means, but I hear you. You shouldn't start a relationship with someone you don't know in person. While I agree with you, Perla, the reality here is that we live in an era or a time where meeting people on the internet is just the way it is now. And I actually think a lot more good that comes from online relationships than bad. Lots of people find love and friendship and companionship and all kinds of wonderful things on the internet. So, you know, you live and learn. This doesn't feel good. Walks inside. Classic Neve. It's true. Sometimes when I watch the show, I can't believe that I go into these people's homes. But I think that's just kind of what makes me, uh, me. If you're sending someone money and you've never met, that is 100% your fault. Yes. You can't really act that upset or, or surprised when you find out that they're not the person they said they were. The worst though is when you send money to someone because you think they need help and then you find out they just use it to like buy sneakers. That sucks. Imagine not catfishing someone only to have Max and Eve show up at your house and you're on national television. If you're not a catfish, you got nothing to worry about. But if you are, we will show up on your doorstep and we will put you on television. So, catfish beware. I've never been two hopeful so got an identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.